Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 5. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so last night's episode of The Flash was really, really good. There was a lot of shocking twists and turns. We broke it all down and did our review that came out earlier today. Also, my Superman Lois review came out, so go check out those two videos. This is the last episode of Superman Lois. For seven weeks, Supergo is coming back next Tuesday after The Flash. So DC TV coverage is going to still be going full throttle over the many coming weeks and months. So if you guys want to talk to me, we're going to be doing a members only Zoom call on Saturday. To take part in the call, all you need to do is become a member by clicking the join button and you'll be able to join me and the rest of your fellow members as we talk about what's happened this week on DC TV. This is going to be a monthly thing and your support is greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this trailer. So this is episode five. We know this is obviously continuing on from episode 4, which was the official first start of the season 7 storyline, because episodes 1, 2, and 3 were all about finishing last season's story. Now we're into the new content, we're into this new storyline, and we are getting the Sage Force powers. That's going to be a huge thing going into these upcoming episodes and it seems like these villains are probably going to be the main villains for the first half. But so the first shot of the trailer is this, we got Barry, he's in Star Labs, he's sitting on the sofa, he's looking at the cityscape and he does look very lost so something is going on with Barry. Okay so let's move on to the next shot, Barry talks to Cecile and he's talking about his nightmares, he said I had a nightmare last night and he seems very concerned so I do think he feels like it's a little bit real and that's why he's coming to Cecile. Obviously, Cecile has her empath powers, so I think she's going to play a part in this episode. I'm not sure if she's going to be the one to take Psyche actually down, but it seems like Barry's going to be seeking counsel from Cecile. And so Barry's questioning what is going on, why is he having these nightmares, and it seems like maybe other people are having these nightmares too. Then we move over to the next shot, and we got Barry, and this does look like a crow security van literally just behind Barry. And so this is definitely them because it is their logo. So has Barry somehow sped over to Gotham City or have they come to detain Psyche? Because we know Psyche is going to be the main villain throughout this episode. And then we get our first look at Psyche who is this character right here. He's going to be popping up in at least three episodes this season. He's going to be kind of like the villain of the week this episode and then he will be coming back but in a different capacity. So he's a metahuman, he's very powerful, and according to the synopsis, he's able to channel and amplify everyone's fears in order to wreak havoc. So by using his metahuman powers, he's basically doing what Scarecrow's toxin would normally do. So that's kind of like a twist on that, and he's gonna be digging into people's nightmares, giving them nightmares, and he's going to give them to specifically Team Flash and their members. Okay, so we see Barry and this close-up basically shows Barry's eyes, they've gone like pinky purple, and it's a signifier that he is using his metahuman powers to give Barry those nightmares, and throughout this trailer, you get like various shots that look very nightmarish, and it's probably in his head. We cut over to a shot of Barry on the ground, and there is some sort of blood on him it looks like, and I don't know if this is part of the nightmare stuff, because it doesn't really look like that. It looks like it's just normal present day. So why would Barry have blood on his emblem? So I'm very confused, but maybe you guys have a few theories, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's move on. We got Cisco here, and he is talking to Caitlyn and Barry, as you can see in these various shots. And Caitlyn says what exactly did he make you see basically confirming that he is going to be implementing nightmares into people's minds and although he's probably not going to be creating everything it amplifies their fears to make them into realities inside people's heads and so also at this point Cisco says fear can make you freak out but not bleed out and so let's just hop back to that past shot because I think that blood we're seeing right there is him actually bleeding and I guess it's something to do with his hand, maybe it's somehow leaked onto his emblem, but I was just kind of questioning how is it on his emblem, but it makes sense if it's like dripped down onto it, because I was like, there is no hole inside Barry's chest where the blood can come out of, but I guess that kind of makes sense now, so yes, he's able to manipulate them and even make them bleed within their nightmares. Okay, so we go over to the nightmare scenes, and these are graded very differently, so the colors are very different, it's kind of like this nice 
mix between black and white and color. So you see this close up of Barry, it seems like this is a continuation from where Barry had his eyes going purpley pink. And so Barry looks very confused, he is lost in this world, it seems like this is in Star Labs. He's being manipulated and the camera whips out, emphasizing how lost Barry is. And so you get to see like a few different variations on this. Barry's lost within his own nightmares. And this look that the cinematography has really emphasizes that this is not reality. So we go back to normal present day and you got Psyche actually showing up in this place. He has knocked out someone in the background. I'm not sure as to what he's going to be doing. Like, is he going to actually be a criminal? Because he is going to return in episode 10 and 11 apparently. And he is going to be teaming up with Barry it seems, so he's going to be more like an anti-hero. In this episode he's more of a villain because this is the first time he shows up and he's going to be manipulating Barry and using his powers for his own good, but I don't know if he's like a straight up criminal or if he's like a psychopath going around just giving people nightmares for the sake of it or does he want something like money or whatever criminals want. But it looks like in the same place Killer Frost is taken over by Psyche. And it seems like Cisco and her have like some sort of headpiece on to try and either stop him from getting in or to be able to control themselves. So her eyes light up and Cisco is looking at her and then she actually goes into this nightmare and you get to see the different kind of color scheme. And so she's in there as Frost. And this is not Caitlyn by the way. Because of how we left off last episode it's all changed and I guess Caitlyn is somewhere else and Frost is going to be out on the field helping Team Flash. And so either she is controlling the nightmare and she is venturing into this world using this head device like Cisco in the next shot or Mecha Vibe as they called him last episode which is a really cool name by the way. His eyes are glowing even with inside his goggles. It's possible that they are going in on purpose to try and stop Psyche from the inside out. And so we go to Cecile and Joe's house and Joe touches Cecile and Cecile is kind of freaking out. She's obviously had these nightmares or she is feeling something because of her empath powers. And we move on to the next shot, still in Barry's nightmare. Barry says, this is a hallucination, you can't hurt me. He is adamant at this. Obviously he's going to be lost within his own nightmares. So he's going to be saying, you know, this isn't reality. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna beat you, psych but it's definitely gonna be a really, really tough fight to try and best his grasp because it seems like Psyche is really, really overpowered. Also in the voice overlay, as we cut to this next shot with Barry lying on the ground, this is like a wider shot of him lying that we saw earlier. Cisco or Barry, I'm not 100% sure, says this can't be how it ends. This is right where you get this shot. And so this was just like a tiny bit before this. However, Cisco is here, he's lying dead on the ground and it seems like this is a nightmare that Barry has seen where Cisco is actually dead due to rubble falling on him and probably at the hands of Psyche. So I think you're going to see those extremes, you're going to see people dying, you're going to see people getting attacked within side of his mind because obviously Barry is the Flash and Team Flash as a whole, they risk their lives every day and so of course their nightmares are going to be you know, seeing Iris die or seeing Cisco die or seeing Caitlyn die because that is always just like a step away for them. So it's kind of crazy, but you see Mecha Vibe in his gear just on the ground lying dead. So crazy times, but we have Cho and it seems like Cho could potentially be inside a nightmare right here. And the only reason I'm saying this is he says nightmares can't hurt you and he just seems a bit off and Cecile's reaction earlier in the trailer does seem very off. So what happens if, because this is looking like a normal circumstance, Cecile thinks it's reality, however, it turns out this is a nightmare and maybe it kind of flashes and it turns into a different color scheme, you know, the nightmare color scheme that they introduced in this trailer. So what happens if Joe is part of this nightmare or Cecile's specific nightmare? Because you would have to imagine it has something to do with Joe if Cecile has a nightmare. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be going down in this episode. Psyche isn't going to be the main villain of the season, but he will be a recurring guest star who will pop up at least two more times after this episode in episode 10 and 11. So he's going to be reigning fear over Central City in this specific episode. And according to the synopsis, Joe has some stuff going on at CCPD as someone pops by for a visit. Def and Iris is involved in Joe's storyline as well. Then finally, the synopsis teases that Caitlin and Frost are going to argue about how to live their lives. And continuing off of what we saw last episode in episode 4 and how it ended, 
Caitlyn and Frost are two separated people now, and so this argument is going to be a literal thing now. So I'm not 100% sure what's going to be happening with Caitlyn apart from their argument. However, Frost is going to be going out to the field. So I think at some point this season, there is a possibility that Frost might go away and basically be like, I'm going to search for myself. And this might be their excuse to not explore both characters that they've set up. Kind of similar to how they introduced the new version of Wells and then they literally just sent him off. And he's presumably going to come back at some point this season. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do something like this. However, in regards to Psyche, I do think Cecile is going to play a big part into this because it's dealing with nightmares and Cecile can tap into some of these feelings. And if we take a quick glance back at the synopsis, it says Barry realizes with Cecile's help that he must face his own worst fear in order to beat this new threat. So Barry's going to be venturing into his own mind to try and stop Psyche and to actually overcome his worst fear. And I presume his worst fear is Iris's death. That is the first thing that comes to mind for me. Because if you remember in season 3 when Savitar killed Iris, or was going to kill Iris, Barry was just so stressed that entire season. So I'll be shocked if that is not his worst fear. And according to the synopsis, it does confirm my theories that Cecile is going to be a big help. And she's going to play a major part in taking Psyche down. And I'm presuming at some point Psyche is going to probably get away and he'll come back and maybe do an abracadabra because last episode abracadabra came back and he turned out to be a hero by the end because Barry was able to get through to him and unfortunately he died. However, something similar could happen to Psyche where he becomes more of an anti-hero. But that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any new videos. Remember to go check out my Superman Lois review that came out a few hours before this. Also, please be sure to check out my Flash episode 4 review slash breakdown last night. And if you want to talk to me and your fellow members, please be sure to click the join button to become a member today because now is the time with the Zoom call this weekend. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.